So Qualcomm recently launched another mid-range chipset, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 3. It is the successor of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. And I would say it's more about the AI magic than the performance itself. There are numerous new AI technologies integrated into this chipset, such as new APU, NPU, ISP, display capabilities, camera capabilities, connectivity, and more. This chipset also excels in benchmarks compared to its predecessor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7S Gen 2. And yes, this chipset is also more efficient as well as faster. It serves as the bridge between flagship and budget chipsets. So let's put this chipset to the test and see how it performs in benchmarks in this full comprehensive review. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 demonstrates strong performance in benchmark tests and in Tutu version 10, it achieves a total score of 873,939 and breaking down these scores, the CPU achieved 256,787 and the GPU achieved 272,332, the memory achieved 177,778 and the UX achieved 159,966, giving it a remarkable total score of 873,939. Plus, these N2 2 version 10 scores are above 30% faster than its predecessor, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, and about 50% faster than a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2. I have reviewed both of these chipsets. You can find links to the reviews for both of these chipsets in the description. If you are interested, Check them out. This chipset also does well in the Geekbench 6 benchmarks. Geekbench 6 highlights a single core score of 1149 and a multi core score of 3384, showcasing its processing capabilities. The single core scores are about 18% faster than its predecessor, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, and multi core scores are about 22% faster than its predecessor, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. Plus, these are all the benchmarks for this chipset. You can pause the screen and rate them all. So the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 boosts an Octa Core Qualcomm Corio CPU with a heterogeneous architecture. With one ultra fast core based on Cortex A715, clocked at 2.63 GHz. The performance scores based on Cortex A715 also clocked at 2.4 GHz. And four efficiency cores based on Cortex A510 clocked at 1.8 GHz. This chipset is based on a 64 bit ARM version 8.6 and instruction set architecture. This CPU is manufactured using 4 nanometer processor technology by TSMC. Plus, the chipset TDP is only 6 watts, emphasizing a balance between performance and power efficiency, with a focus on productivity. The Qualcomm Corio CPU achieves a peak speed of 2.63 GHz, resulting in a 15% performance improvement and 20% overall power efficiency. On the GPU front, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 is equipped with the Arduino 720 GPU. The Arduino Frame Motion Engine contributes to smooth visuals. It supports different APIs, including OpenGL ES 3.2, OpenCL 2.0 FP, and Vulkan version 1.3, ensuring compatibility with the range of applications. Additionally, the GPU incorporates hardware accelerated H.265 and BP9 coding, along with HDR playback codec support for HDR10+, HDR10, HLG, and Dolby Vision. This Arduino 720 GPU delivers more than 50% faster graphics rendering for HDR gaming, which are further complemented by the Snapdragon Elite gaming features, such as game super resolution, Qualcomm Game Quick Touch, Adreno Frame Motion Engine double the frame rates for an immersive gaming experience. The Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 offers a robust memory and storage capabilities. It supports dual-channel LPDDR5 RAM with a memory frequency of 3200 MHz. This chipset can support maximum RAM size of 16 GB. And for the storage, this chipset supports UFS 3.1 storage technology for faster read and write speeds. And this chipset has a maximum bandwidth of 25.6 gigabits per second. The display support of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 is 4K at 60Hz, Google Full HD Plus at 168Hz, and WQ HD Plus at 120Hz, ensuring a high quality visual experience. The maximum external display support is up to 4K at 60Hz. This chipset also features some advanced display capabilities, such as 10 bit color depth and REC.2020 color gamut, ensuring vivid and accurate color reproduction. There are also HDR enhancements like HDR10. HDR10+, Plus, Adaptive HDR10, and Ultra HDR. The Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 features the Qualcomm Spectra Image Signal Processor with triple 12-bit ISPs for versatile camera configuration with advanced capabilities 
It supports a single camera of up to 200 megapixels. The camera also excels in video capture with support for 4K HDR at 60 frames per second and slow motion video at 1080p at 120 frames per second. And there are also AI features, including the Bokeh engine, MFNR, multi-frame noise reduction, AI-based face detection, which enhances the overall imaging experience. The Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 is equipped with a Hexagon NPU and Qualcomm Sensing Hub. The Hexagon NPU includes a fused AI accelerator, tensor accelerator, vector extensions, and scalar accelerator, supporting mixed precisions like INT4, INT8, and INT16. On the other hand, the Qualcomm Sensing Hub featuring a low-power AI system, ensuring an always-on highly secure AI experiences. The Qualcomm AI engine characterized by a low-power architecture, delivers a 60% improvement in performance per watt. Additionally, the always-aware Sensing Hub enables features like activity recognition and routine understandings, enhancing the user experience by intuitively activating applications such as navigation, music, and more. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 features the Qualcomm Fast Connect 6700 system for robust connectivity. It supports Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 6 with a peak speed of 2.9 GB per second, including 8 stream surroundings. This chipset also supports Bluetooth 5.3. This chipset has the Snapdragon X63 5G modem RF system that provides comprehensive 5G connectivity with MM wave and sub 6 GHz support with an immersive download speed of 5 gigabits per second and upload speed of 1.6 gigabits per second. So the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 stands out as a powerful and versatile mid-range chipset, succeeding its predecessors. Its notable strengths include advanced AI technologies, robust performance in benchmarks, efficient power management, faster LPDDR5 frame with UFS 3.1 storage technology, better display support, better camera capabilities, advanced hexagon NPU, Qualcomm Sensing Hub, Qualcomm Fast Connect 6700, and Snapdragon X63 5G modem RF system. Overall, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 excels as a mid-range chipset, offering a well-rounded package of performance, better and faster AI capabilities, and connectivity features that make it suitable for a wide range of applications and user experiences. So that was the full review of the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3. If you found this review helpful and useful, please consider subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So my name is Hamza, this is HeadStack and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to watch the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.